I think a lot of these crimes are resentment. If you look at the way that these criminals are acting violently towards uh, the foreigners, I mean, raping 65-year-old women. And there's a lot of people that will minimize crime and they will poo-poo it and then they will make all these statements. There's a lot of reasons for locals to get defensive. A lot of uh, times the locals take it personal as a personal insult, which it is not. Yes, there's crime everywhere. And it's important to know what the crime is. It doesn't matter where I'm moving. I want to know the straight skinny. I want to know where bears squat in the woods. Today at the beaches outside of Panama City. Super. I read more violent crimes happening in Panama than Ecuador. Do you think that perhaps it's just because there's more expats in Panama that we're reading about more violent crime? I think that Panama's more mature in the accumulation of foreigner enclaves. Okay. You know, enclaves with lots of foreigners, uh, and therefore they've they've had more time to make a presence of their financial uh, inequality with the locals. If I was moving to Pittsburgh, I'd want to know what the crime rates were, and I'd want to know what kind of crimes there are, and then I could make an informed decision. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. It has been said that moving is one of the most stressful things a person does in their lifetime. And so this is even more stressful because you're not just moving in the States to a different city. You're moving to a completely different culture, different country. People look different, sound different, speak different, act different, earn different. And it's big shock, big culture shock. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. I think it's important for people to know um, to scrape skinny on everything and to pretend and stick your head in the sand, you know, and pretend that uh, you're going to some idyllic uh, place that uh, no, no problems exist and everything's perfect. It's just not real, you know. So it's not meant to discourage, it's meant to be honest, you know, and to be clear and honest and um, upfront. Is that all you got? Let's begin. You know, after foreigners been going to a place for 15, 10, 15 years, doing things the way they do them, you know, living opulently and such, and kind of in your face to the locals like that, it seems to be just a just a cause and effect where eventually the crime rates just go up.